This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project. You can download them from below link in the description. The complete After Effects template is also available on my web store, check the link in the description. Now let's start with creating the logo reveal. Create a new composition. Name it as Sab logo. Set width and height as shown. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. Set time duration to 5 seconds. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. Scale the logo if needed. Here I will scale my logo. Perfect. Now pre compose this logo file. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. Now let's auto trace our logo. Go to layer. Select auto trace. Select preview to see the preview of auto trace. Hit OK. Perfect. Now for this logo composition, let's add the Saber effect. Make sure you have already installed the Saber plugin. It is available for free. If you haven't installed it, then check out the link given in the description for the Saber plugin. Now add the Saber effect to logo composition. For this Saber, we will set preset to Arc Reactor. In Customize Core, set Core Type to Layer Masks. Now let's animate this Saber effect. Set Glow Intensity to 30%, Glow Speed to 0.05. Glow Bias to 0.13 Now at 2 seconds Create keyframe for core size Set size to 0 At start of the timeline Change size to 1.20 You can see the preview Now press U to view keyframes now select the created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can adjust the speed graph if needed, make sure you are on the edit speed graph. Here I will keep as it is. Now at start. Create keyframe for end offset. At 2 seconds. Change end offset to. 0% Now press U to view keyframes Select the created keyframes Change keyframe assistant to easy ease In render setting, change composition setting to Transparent Perfect Now let's create duplicate of this logo composition For duplicate Change preset to electric. Change glow intensity to 20%. Now at start. Change core size to 0 0.80. Press U to view keyframes. Let's remove these mask keyframes. We don't need this.
Now for end keyframe, let's place it at 10 frames backward. We will do the same for end offset keyframe. You can see the preview. Select inverted mask. You can see the effects of both the logo compositions. Perfect. Now again add a logo composition to the timeline. Press T to bring up opacity. Now at 1 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, at 1 second, change opacity to, 0%. Perfect, you can see the preview, here our sabber part is created. Now let's create a new composition, here I will name it as wave. Remaining everything will be same. Now select the ellipse tool. Set stroke to, none. You can change the fill color if you want. Let's create a new solid layer. Now let's create a mask as shown. Now again create mask inside this mask layer. For mask 2, set mode to subtract. For mask 1 and 2, we will create mask path keyframes, at 3 seconds, create keyframe for path, also for mask 2. Now at start, let's change mask shape, make sure unit is set to percent of source, here we will set all values to, 50%. Do the same for mask 2. Here I will slightly adjust the position of mask 2. Perfect. Now for this solid layer, in effects and preset, search for turbulent displace. Add it to the solid layer. For turbulent displace, set amount to, 125. Set size to, 25. In effects and preset, search for CC vector blur. Add it to the solid layer. Set amount to, 22. Now create duplicate of turbulent displace. Place it below blur. For displace 2, set amount to 275. Set size to 7. You can see the preview. Now let's create our final composition. Name it as logo reveal. Perfect. Now let's add the light leak media file to the timeline. Now add the Sabo logo to the timeline. For Sabo logo, let's change the mode to add. Now press S to bring up the scale. Set scale value to near about 250. Now let's set opacity to 5%. Now again add Sabo logo composition to the timeline, now create duplicate of this Sabo logo or you can again add the Sabo logo composition. For above Sabo logo composition, in effects and preset, search for fill, 
add fill to logo composition, here I will set fill color to blue, here you can set any color of your choice. Now in effects and preset, search for glow, add it to the logo composition. Now for Sable logo change mode to, add. Now from project panel, let's add the wave media file to the timeline. For Sable logo, change track mat to, luma mat wave. You can see the preview. Now select the Sable logo and wave composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Now for duplicate Seba, change mode to overlay. Now in effects control, for glow, change threshold to 80%. Now again select the Seba and wave composition. Create duplicate. Perfect. Now we will change all the Seba logo compositions to 3D. Now let's create a new camera. Now create a null object. For null change it to 3D. Parent camera to null. For null, press P to bring up position. Create position keyframe at end of the timer line. Now at start of the timer line, increase the position value for Z axis as shown. You can see the preview. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now for all Saba logo composition, you can slightly adjust the position for Z-axis, as shown. From project panel, add the light media file to the timer line. Change it to 3D. For this light media file, let's change the mode to add. For light media file, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the media file. Change blur radius to 20. Select repeat edge pixels, iteration to 1. Now in effects and preset, search for tint, add tint to media file, change map white color as shown. Now let's add wiggle expression for tint, while pressing alt key, click on stopwatch of amount of tint, enter an expression for amount of tint, wiggle, 9, 45. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset search for curves. Add curves to adjustment layer. Lightly adjust the curves as shown. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for optics compensation. Add it to the adjustment layer. At 3 seconds. Create keyframe for field of view. At start of the timer line, change field of view to 100. 
select reverse lens distortion. Press U to view keyframes, select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Now again create a new adjustment layer, for the adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for glow. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set glow threshold to, 30%. Now at 15 frames, create keyframe for glow radius. Set it to, 0. At start, change glow radius to, 35. Create keyframe for glow intensity. Change intensity to, 2. Now go at 15 frames, change intensity to, 0. Now for this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for directional blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at 15 frames, create keyframe for blur length. At start of the timer line, change blur length to, 150. Now in effects and preset, search for exposure. Add it to the adjustment layer. At 15 frames. Create keyframe for exposure. At start, change exposure to, 10. Press U to view all created keyframes, select keyframes, Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph as shown. Here you can see the complete preview. Select all layers. Precompose them. Name it as main. Now press P to bring up position, let's add wiggle expression. While pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of position, enter expression, wiggle. 5, 10. Depending on how much shaking effect you need. You can set the wiggle value. For this main composition. In effects and preset, search for motion tile, add it to the main composition. Set output width and height to, 200. Select mirror edges. Now let's add cinematic frame, create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Set color to black. Select Rectangle Tool, now double click on Rectangle Tool to create mask, for mask change path, change unit to percent of source, change top to, 10%, bottom to, 90%. Select Inverted. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Here our Saba logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this video, see you on next week with another awesome tutorial.